a few members that asked me to put this video together and I thought it would be very good just to put it out there for everyone to kind of see exactly how to put alerts and why you should be setting them. First I'm going to get into why. The reason is, is because there's thousands of stocks that are trading every day and you possibly can't be watching them. If you're a technical trader like myself, there's levels that you're looking for for either breakouts, levels of interest that you're looking to buy on a dip, and for those to happen, you can't keep you, you can't watch all of them. So what you do is you set alerts. And by setting these alerts, you're able to look at different stocks and follow different stocks uh, when they get into levels that you're looking for. So you don't have to watch them because a lot of times stocks are consolidating and they're trading in a range. So a lot of times, if you're a momentum trader, that's not of interest to you. You just want to know when there's momentum to either a breakout to the upside or to the downside. So by doing this, you can set alerts and you can be efficient by being able to react. Now one of the things I do is in TOSS or Think or Swim is if you click here on the Charts tab, they have two different kinds of charts. They have the regular charts here and then we have Profit. What I do is for a lot of my trading I use the Profit charts. I, I prefer the Profit charts but you can't set alerts in here. So what I do is I, I, when I'm looking at stocks and it's usually for swing trades that I'm setting these alerts on, for day trades as well, I, I set alerts, but the, I'm, I'm just going to talk about swing trades. So I'm just going to bring up ECA. This is one that had moved yesterday. And let's say uh, you want to know when it, maybe it was a level of interest above the 200-day moving average. So let's say 31. Let's say that's an area of interest for you. Well, you come back to here, the charts, and for whatever time frame that you're looking for, I have mine set for 15 minutes. You know, it, it's whatever you prefer to set these alerts at. So it could be for minutes, days, or whatever. It's just an area that you set these alerts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the chart, and you can see where my my uh, pencil marker is. It's about 3099. So what I'm going to do is right click here on my mouse, and we're going to get a little uh, box that shows up here, and you're going to click on alert here. This is how you set alerts. So it's alert, and you get four different choices. And the choices are ask, bid, last, or mark. I usually pick the last because I'm worried about what the last trade went off of. So what's going to happen here is we're going to come to a market watch tab. And under the market watch and alerts, you're going to see almost what it's similar to in the trade tab right here. But we're going to get another box. Instead of an order entry box here, we're going to get an alert entry box. And below here you can see some of my alerts that had triggered or that I have set here. So right here we have stock, we have quantity, we have the symbol, we have last, and this is where you can pick different ones. And this is where you can put the trigger at or above, at or below. So let's say if you're wanting a stock that was breaking out, you would put at or above. If it was breaking below, you would say at or below. So let's say at or above, and let's say the 38, the 31 level. The cool thing is is that with the alerts, and this is what I often do, is I have different noises. So if there's stocks that are running higher, you might have a noise that goes off as a horn. If there's stocks that are going lower that you're interested in, you might have a submarine noise. So when you hear that submarine noise, you know that there's a stock going lower. And opposite, if there's horns going off, you know there's stocks going higher, so you're looking for that. So let's say if there's a marketplace that is going higher, and then you have that horn go off. Well, that's a stock that you want to look at because the market bias is higher. So you can set the noises here, and th that would be how you can configure them. You can import them and bring them in. So I'm just going to press cancel. I'm just going to leave it at the bell. And when we create the alert here, you click on create. It's going to show up below here. And we have an active alert going on. So if we go back to the charts tab, we have an alert set here at $30, and no matter what uh, chart that we're looking at or we set it to, that alert's going to show up at $31. So that's the way to set up alerts. That's the way I use them, and uh, to trade stocks and trade and follow a lot of them, that's the best way to do it.